So I'm at work and my boo sent me these gorgeous flowers to work with my favorite chocolates. And this place is called the Bloom of Time Floral Design Studio, which they did an absolute gorgeous job on these flowers. I absolutely love them. Thanks, boo, for my early birthday present. I love you, thank you. Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? I am home, I'm done with work, and we're gonna do some gift baskets for today's Vlogmas. I'm gonna do both my neighbor's gifts, um, the mom and the daughter, and the daughter's gifts is gonna be all Dollar Tree products, so let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do for my gift basket is I like to get this paper at the Dollar Tree and scrunch it up to have a little bit of lift in my basket. Okay, so I'm gonna put the camera down and we're just gonna get into it, because I'm excited. Okay, so I got this at the Dollar Tree. Now everything here except for one item is Dollar Tree. Okay, and I'll let you know what the item is. Sorry, my wipes. I was wiping down my desk. So I'm just going to scrunch this down. Sometimes I use plastic bags if I have them at home. But I like to use these. Just to give it a little something. I'll put it two in usually. Okay, so this little girl, she loves unicorns. She loves dolls. She loves all kinds of stuff. So I picked this up from the Dollar Tree for her. And I'm going to put this in the back. And then I did get this item on clearance. When you guys saw me go and grab all those Nerf guns from Mel um, that I gave to her. And I probably kept like two or three of the ones I picked up. This was there and I only paid, I want to say $2 for it. It was $5.99. So I picked up one of these for her because she likes to draw in color. So I got her that. It includes six stamps, crayons, and more. And then, you guys have seen these floating through the Dollar Tree, the Friends Forever. And I got her the Fashion Doll Closet to go with Friends Forever as well. So we're going to put these two items in the gift basket for her. So I'm going to put this one and this one. And then I found these as well at the Dollar Tree. They're ages six plus. You can make bracelet beads. And she loves to do little crafting things like that. Um, I got her this little Barbie set of clothes that I found today at the Dollar Tree, which you guys were going to see that walkthrough go up tomorrow. And um, I was going to get her the Forever Friends, but this had so much more in it. And I, and I know she has a ton of Barbies, so she doesn't even have to use it with this doll. She can use it with her other dolls, and I just couldn't not pick that up. That was a great deal for a Barbie for a buck twenty-five. You get, um, let's see. It looks like you get the shirt, the pants, and the shoes, which is awesome. That's, oh, and you get this cute little hanger, too. Then I picked up these awesome blind bags that they have at the Dollar Tree, the Fab Five. So you don't know what you're gonna get in here. And I got her more surprise bracelet activity as well. She just loves making bracelets. So I'm gonna add these little goodies in here for her. And then she loves her hair in ponytails and her mom always does her hair really cute. And she can either put this on her backpack, wear it on her wrist, or put it in her hair. You could do all kinds of things. We really saw, we really like these. I picked up a bunch of them at Dollar Tree, so I'm gonna also add this in her little gift basket. And then here you go, a beautiful little Dollar Tree gift basket and then let me tell you the cost of this okay so this is a $12 basket everything from the Dollar Tree cost me $10 because I got eight items and then this one was two dollars I picked up at CVS or Walgreens so 125 
times eight items, that's gonna be $10 plus a two, that's $12 plus tax. What a beautiful little $12 basket. Isn't that gorgeous? She's gonna be so excited. It's all of her favorite little finds. And now I'm gonna show you how I wrap up my baskets. I might rearrange a couple of things here. Okay. There we go. I can't seem to fit this in. There we go. That's what I wanted it to do. All right. There we go. So I'm gonna leave it. So I'm gonna leave it like this. Now I happen to find more of the. I cannot find this anywhere at Dollar Tree anymore. So I've been buying it off of Amazon. Um, but I found like probably my last pack of these. So I'm just gonna use these with the pull bow it comes with. So these are also Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna do the clear one. Oh, maybe there is only one. Oh, I thought there was two in here. I guess I was wrong. There's only one for $1.25. I have another one. I'll just have to go get it. Sorry about the noise. I just want you to see, like, the whole get down. Some people cringe when they hear that. Sorry. So I put them in. Fighting for a cause got me started on this and then I kind of like added my own little twist to it because I thought it was just a fabulous idea. And then the family and the neighbors really, really, really love the way I do my gift basket. So I place this in the middle. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up, but I'm going to, um, You'll probably hear music in the background because I don't want to annoy you, annoy you guys with all the, you know. And then I'm going to go ahead and plug in my heat gun and we're going to get down to business. This was the best investment. I love that thing.
that cute? I was trying to get the flap to stay up, but that's okay. That's not a huge deal. It kind of bothers me, but I'm going to let it go. Let it go. But look how cute. I'm loving this gift basket. It's the first present that's going into the tree, so I bring it over there for Christmas. So all I do is take the top, and then I cut it. I mean, you do your gift baskets how you want. This is just how I like to do it. And there you go. Voila. All done for a nice five-year-old little girl. So I'm excited. I know she will be too. So I got that one. And let's get started on the next one. All right, guys. This next basket I'm going to make, I got everything at 90% off except for the basket. I got a Dollar Tree for $1.25. And yeah, everything here is, like I said, 90% off from Big Lots and it is all baking stuff. Mom likes to bake, so I got her everything that has to do with baking. So I thought that would be super fun. And we're gonna get started. I'm gonna show you what's gonna be in this gift basket. So I got her, I gotta take off the um, the price tags on, on them all. So I'll quiet everything down and I'll put it all together for you guys. But this one is Winter Wonderland 3 Cup Flower Sifter. Then I got her a set of four spreaders. Got those. And then I have from Big Lots this cookie cutter and spatula set because they love to make cookies. And it was $7, but I didn't pay $7, so that's awesome. And I got her these so they can make a tons of, I got to put a little piece of tape on here. Um, I got her these as well so they can make a ton of different cookie shapes and stuff like that with her and her daughter. And then I thought this was really cute to end out the basket for the holidays, bake me crazy. I thought that was really cute. Just a little gift for her. And, um... I'm going to go ahead and take off the price tags off of a few of these things.
after all. Um, I have a lot more to come. So we're going to do a lot of wrapping, a lot of gift ideas um, this week. Actually, and this weekend. So stay tuned for all that goodness. Because you know we wet, we wrapping gifts all the way up until Christmas. But some of you guys finish early, yes. Maybe some of you, but I'm always like... December 23rd, I'm like, wait, Christmas Eve, I'm still like, oh, wait, I forgot about somebody, you know? It happens, right? Okay, so now we're going to save this time for our Q&A. Guys, don't forget to answer or ask me questions that you guys may want to know answers to. Let's see here. I think I had a couple. Um, You guys seem to really like um ethan's performance i'm so excited um let's see there was a there was one question by bonnie so so botka oh my gosh so botka oh my gosh i'm so sorry if i sabotaged your name um okay bonnie i'm sorry <laughs> I feel horrible when I can't say the names. She said, great job on Vlogmas. Really enjoyed Ethan. Did a great job. Question, how did you first get into doing YouTube? Okay, so Bonnie, this goes back to um, Simply Jessica Marie. We, She started her channel before I started mine. And she was doing YouTube. And I would watch her on YouTube and stuff. And I was always very supportive. And she's the one who's like, you should start a YouTube channel. I'm like, what? No, not me. I can't do that. That's crazy. Who the hell is going to want to watch me and be entertained? And she's like, you're very entertaining. And I'm like, and then she convinced me and talked me into, I was like, you know what? I'm going to fail, but let's do this, you know? So I started it with her. And if you go back to my beginning videos, which you guys can totally laugh at, the editing, the quality, every, I mean... If you guys watched my first videos till now, you'll see how much I've grown and improved, which is good because we all want to improve. We all want to get better. And it was really because of Simply Jessica Marie that I started getting into it because she convinced me because of my personality and how fun and uplifting and like I'm all hype all the time that it would be perfect for doing this. And I'm really glad that she did because I have so much fun and I'm doing amazing. I love it. I've met really cool people and I continued watching people and stuff. And then I happened to win Mel's giveaway and everyone's like, oh my God, keep buddy for a cause, you know? I was so excited. And then this new Dollar Tree opened on Euclid in La Palma by my house. And I happened to go there with Jessica. I was like, oh my God, Jessica, is that her? We're like, oh my gosh, yeah. Oh, that is her. That's her husband. I recognize her husband. So we were all like this and we're like, and so I was like, are you couponing for a cause? And she's like, yes. And she gets so embarrassed. And her husband was smiling and she's like, yes. All like, I'm like, oh my God, I love you. Like I watch your channel. I felt like I was like this biggest fan and she's like, you know, this movie star, you know, that's how it was like at the moment, you know, and then I continued watching her and stuff. I ended up winning one of her giveaways. So she's like, how about I just meet up with you at that Dollar Tree? Like we totally exchanged numbers. I was like, oh my God, I have couponing for Akasa's number. That is exactly how I felt. And then um, Jessica's like, oh my God, I can't believe we just met her. I'm like, I know, right? We went, we like had a couple of drinks, like just white claws at her house, probably hung out like we usually do and watched a movie. The kids probably played outside and we were like sitting there like, oh my God, I can't believe we ran into her. <laughs> it was so cool. So anyways, after that, I connected with her and then I was so excited to meet her because she's so amazing, you know, it was just exciting. And um, it was like a kid in a candy store. That's how I felt, like literally. And when we met up and she gave me my giveaway and I was literally maybe like 500 subscribers. I was like, you know, 
not that I'm big now, but I'm a lot bigger than I was then, you know? And, um, I was like, oh my gosh, it was so, I'm so excited. I can't believe I won your giveaway. And she's like here. And, and then, um, she gave it to me. It was all pretty and stuff. And then it, what was cool when we met up, it was around my birthday time. And she was like, I found out it was your birthday. And I don't remember how she found out or what, but she made me this like amazing basket and she barely even knew me. And I was like, what? Like, are you kidding me? And even thinking about it now makes me smile because it makes me remember like how special that moment was because she barely knew me. I won her giveaway. That's all she had to give to me was the giveaway I won. You know what I mean? And it wasn't like she had to do any, she didn't have to do anything for me at all. Like she had no obligation to do anything and it was really cool and then I was like oh my gosh I can't believe it I came home so excited to the boyfriend I was like look what she gave me she you know so anyways after that she was like do you want to learn you know do you want your YouTube channel to grow and I was like yeah I go I don't know like she was you're growing but you know she was like let me you know and so basically she just taught me little things, you know, and just, I mean, obviously my personality is my personality and I have different content and she does a different style of things and I do a different style of things, but how she helped me was teaching me like to do things within YouTube studio or, you know, do this, do that for your video. Uh, you know, you're gonna, you know, get a, get better quality. People like, you know, good quality videos. Like, just, you know, upscale your content. Like, watch some more YouTube. Like, basically giving me brainstorming and just helping me out. And she's so nice because she didn't have to help me do anything. You know, she didn't owe me anything she didn't have to I'm like a stranger person to her you know I'm just some youtuber that isn't nobody that just started doing youtube that's just one of those you know people and you know what I mean like she didn't have to help me you know but she did and then we we hit it off and we became really good friends and she's like one of my closest friends like and I adore her I could call her and tell her anything and I can cry and not feel embarrassed or tell her what a crappy day I've had and it's really nice to like have a friend like that because you know it, they just don't come around too often and I have a very smart small circle of people in my life and I'm happy with my small little circle because you know anyways that's how I started YouTube is Jessica got me started which thank you to Jessica for that and then I won Mel's giveaway and I continued on because I was going to give up because I didn't think that it was going to be for me. But I didn't want to give up because I didn't want to show my kids that I was a quitter. So I didn't want to quit. And I kept going, even though I'm like, my videos suck, you know. <laughs> but actually, people ended up liking me. So it was great. And then now it's like I have all these people that really like enjoy watching me and I have people that hate I have people I don't want to even say hate they just make nasty comments and stupid stuff and I'm like whatever if you want to take the time out of your day to write a message to me to make sure I read it it's not gonna affect me because at the end of the day I have all you guys that care about me I have my boyfriend I've got my kids I have a happy house and I'm gonna have a great Christmas no matter if there's presents or not and you know it's okay. So I've grew thick skin. And at first, yeah, the comments did get to me. And Jessica and Mel were like, just let it go. Just let it go. You know, it, it happens. And then after I was like, you know what? I just laugh about it now. I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm like, look at this. We should do a video on craziest comments ever. <laughs> Some of them are hilarious. Some of them I'm like, Where'd you get that from? Or, I don't know. It's just so funny. But I just now just, you know, I'm who I am. I'm a happy person. I'm very loving. I'm very giving. 
I'm doing the best I can. I have fun doing it and that's what matters. And I'm just gonna keep pushing forward. So I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. And I do wanna give a shout out to all my girls. Of course, the Vlogmas collaboration team, which is awesome. And I also want to give a shout out to Tamara's Bargains. I don't know if you guys have heard of her or have watched her. Um, she finds good stuff and she's been really supportive of my channel and she doesn't even know me at all. Like she watches and she's never asked me to give her a shout out. She's never asked me for anything. All she does is put a really nice comment on my channel all the time and I've been reading them. And I always respond because I respond to everybody. Like everybody deserves, if you're gonna take the time to comment, I'm gonna take the time to respond. And you know, acknowledge that. Cause that's time out of your day, you know? So I I mean, she has some good content and I really enjoy her and I watch her as well. And I comment, not all the time on her videos cause sometimes I watch them. And then the kids and, you know, so I kind of stay on top of my channel, but I'm kind of need to work more on commenting on other people's videos, even though some people I'll just text and be like, your video is awesome. I need to actually comment, you know, so I need to work on that. But check her out. I'll link her below. She's awesome. She just re writes really nice stuff. And I just feel like you know, that she deserves to have people view her channel because she has good content. And that's what we all should be doing as YouTubers is just being supportive of each other and just being nice to each other. This is no, I mean, we're not in competition. We're just doing our thing with our own personalities. That's how I look at it. And I'm having fun and no one's gonna ruin that for me. I'm just having a good time. So, um... I think that was the only question, but it, you know, I went into 11 minutes doing that because I went into a whole bunch of other stuff. So I don't know how that happened, <laughs> but it did. And, um, I'm sorry guys. I'm like over answering all the questions, <laughs> but yeah, check out Tamara's bargains. And I think that was the only other one. I have a lot of comments here. I need to still go through. They're all Ethan's comments, so Ethan needs to look at them. Um, he loves playing the clarinet, somebody asked. He wants to do it in seventh and eighth grade, yes. He actually wants to be in high school band. I'm super proud of him. Noah, I'm gonna get into, probably I'm actually researching it right now, looking into putting him into Taekwondo for discipline and for um control of behavior when he gets upset because sometimes he gets really protective and he just and he needs to learn how to control that energy and um it's okay for him to be the way he is but i want him to learn how to control it you know so i think taekwondo is gonna work for him so i'm looking into where I could do classes and he could go a couple days a week to burn some of that energy because um, he said he didn't want to really do baseball, but he wants to do football, but I'm not letting him do football till high school. That's just what I'm doing. And um, I think Taekwondo is going to be good for him. I've heard a lot of good things. I've read a lot of good reviews. So let me know if you guys know about Taekwondo. Let me know your experiences with it or any advice. You can give or if you live in Orange County, let me know where you may suggest to go so I could research it. So that would be awesome. And all right, guys, I'm talking too much now. 13 minutes in. I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you enjoyed those gift baskets. We have so much more to um, put on the channel. And yeah, so that's pretty much how my YouTube journey got started was Jessica convinced me to do it, talked me into it. And then I won Mel's giveaway. That's how I met Mel. And we just hit it off and she helped me and she was really there for me. And um, I was going through a lot at that time too. Couple, I, Where I've been from two years ago till now, I'm in such a better place and... 
even mentally, you know, um, in a better place. So I'm really grateful for that. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to ask. I am an open book right now. Um, so I will definitely be able to answer those questions for you. Thank you for all your love and support. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.